What's up, fellas? Yes, another gun video, fellas. I got a comparison to make today, fellas. I want to show y'all something, man. It's be like a couple minutes. I just want to show you something, man. Just in case uh, you out looking for guns and you see and you run across this SAR-9, I'm telling you, fellas, man. Just check it out, man. Where the hell is it at? Where the fuck my gun go? Oh, shit. <laughs> Here you go, man. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all something, man. It's empty. Just to show y'all before I even pull the trigger, it's empty. I'm gonna show y'all something. Just real quick, fellas, man. I'm gonna show y'all something. Yeah, I didn't make this baby my EDC, man. Yesterday I shot the hell out of it. I had one stove pipe out of it, man. I came home. Went back and shot the hell out of it with some uh, steel case ammo and some aluminum case ammo. It didn't have no more problems, man. We had that one stove pipe. Yeah, after that, I shot like a, I shot like 250 rounds after that. And it didn't have like one problem after that. It was brass mixed with steel case and also some aluminum. And I didn't have not one more problem out of this right here. So I made it my EDC. It took over the G2C place for now. G2C will come back into rotation. But I want to show y'all something, fellas. Just real quick, man. But before I show y'all that, man. Yeah. Man. If you have never looked in the AKs. If you have never, ever, ever looked in the AKs. You need to start. You know what I'm saying? I know you've heard about the reliabilities of AKs. You know what I'm saying? And they're not supposedly not that accurate when shooting. That the 5.56 five, round is a lot more accurate. To me, that's bullshit. <laughs> to me, that's straight up bullshit. If you shoot this with control, you know what I'm saying? Instead of trying to spray every goddamn where with one hand, that gangster type of way, shit. If you shoot this thing with control, man, this thing is I far awesome. I'm telling you. So if you have never looked into AKs, man, look into them. They need the same maintenance as an AR. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? They say you can run and run and run them without cleaning them. I ain't cleaned this yet. It's still running. But I'm going to clean it. I'll probably clean it tonight. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of fucking uh, reading to do. You know what I'm saying? I've never read so much in my life since I've been going to college. People. I used to read when I was a kid a lot. I used to read a lot of Donald Goins' books. There was always gangster books. Always about pimps, prostitutes, and gangsters. <laughs> yeah, Donald Goins. That's all I read when I was a kid. <clears throat> but... Since I've been back into school, man, I have never read so much in my life. I actually enjoy it, man. I just hope it stays here. So when I graduate, I keep all that shit with me. But I want to show y'all something, man, real quick. Check this out, fellas. This is the SAR-9. And this is the Glock 19. Check this shit out, man. Now, if I had the Glock 17, you'll see the internals are. Look at that. Look at that, fellas. Check that shit out, fellas. Hold on, man. Turn this damn TV down. Can't find the remote. Check this shit out, fellas. Check out. Check, check this shit out, fellas. Check out the... The internals from the 19. From the, from the Glock 19. Check them out, man. And check out the chassis for the... Uh, the SAR-9. Look at it. It is exactly the same. As a matter of fact, I would say that the uh, SAR is built a little better. It's got a lot more steel. It's got a real steel chassis to it, man. Like, to me, it's more quality built. Yeah, the, the, I can say that the, the Eternals of the uh, our SAR uh, have a, you know, better quality built, you know what I'm saying, than the, than the Glock 19. If you could really like, if you ever get your hands on a star, man, look at like, look at the internals of it, man. Like I said, the steel chassis is awesome, man. Like I said, solid, don't feel cheap. The Glock feels a little bit more cheaper. You know what I'm saying? It's just a, just a simple, reliable gun with a simple system, chassis system. But just check out, check it out, man. It's fucking same, dude. It is the fucking same. But like I said, I think the star actually, the quality feels a lot better. You know what I'm saying? And even if you look at the slides of it, man. Look at the slides of the gun, man. Check out the slide of the 
the 19 of the Glock 19 and check out the slide of the SAR. Look at that, man. Look at that shit, man. Look at that shit. Even the springs. Of course, this, this is a little longer, you know. It's 4.4 inches. This is a 4 inch barrel. You know what I'm saying? This is a 4.4 inch barrel, so it springs a little longer. But check out the check it out, man. It's basically the fucking same gun, man. <clears throat> yeah, SAR copied Glock very well when they made uh, the SAR 9. And they did a hell of a job on it, too. Yeah, they did a hell of a job on it, too. Them hollows, baby, they ready for you. Yeah. Yeah. Run up and get done up. Yeah, man, that's all I really want to show y'all, man. Like I said, if you're out looking for a new gun, man, like I said, you run across this gun and it's you see $250, $300, that must be a cheap gun. No. This gun is not cheap, man. If you ever felt one in your hand, you'll feel the solid quality of it. It feels good in your hand. Like I said, it's just a clone of the Glock 17, really. But to my, like I said, in my opinion, it's, it's, the quality is a lot better on this one. You know what I'm saying? If you just really felt one in your hand, you'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so if, don't go by the price on this. Like I said, Saws and Mars, man, they can afford, you know, they have a bigger market. Well, I don't know if they have a bigger market than Glock, but they have a very big market, man. You know what I'm saying? Where they can allow to price their guns at a certain, you know, point to make them affordable. And like I said, this is a affordable quality handgun. Check out that SAR-9, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all stay up out here, man. I was going to go shooting, like I said, but I don't know. Might start raining. Like I said, I got a lot of reading to do. But I really want to go shooting today. But I ain't going to shoot no pistols today, boy. Today ain't nothing but SKS and uh, AK Day. Be good out here, fellas. Like I said, man. I'm not making no gun channel out of this. Like I said, I just like shooting, man. I want to get more people involved in these guns right here, man. I do. I want to get more people involved in these things right here, man. Y'all need these, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all really need these just to have them in your house for protection, man. Like I said, you just never know. Never know what can pop off at any day. And you want to make sure that you can be able to protect your family with the right tools. And these are the right tools baby yes they are these right here are the right tools to protect your family no matter how silly you think i look <laughs> these are the right tools to protect your family like i said fellas and if y'all ain't in that ak platform man check out these ak's boy i'm telling you you will fall in love with them <laughs> peace